what's up everybody and welcome back so today in this video we are going to talk about the chart boost which is uh, another advertising network for mobile ads uh, you can integrate it in your apps and games but somebody here posted that it, in thousand impressions you can get 15 to 35 dollar per day again it depends on the area and your audience so guys before proceeding to the video i want to thanks to our sponsor samsung curved gaming monitor so this is a 240 hertz gaming monitor so imagine our normal monitors are 50 to 60 hertz and imagine the smoothness on the 240 hertz so you can definitely check this video out i will put the link description of the video but uh, let's see how do we integrate so the first step you have to do is you have to uh, you know sign up for the chart boost and after uh, sign up uh, you can uh, download the sdk from their websites okay so i have already created an account uh, right here you can see that uh, this is my dashboard so after you sign up you will have this uh, dashboard and in here the first thing you have to do is you have to create your app so as you can see uh, right here i have already created an app called mediation test and uh, you can uh, create app for both uh, android and ios so as you can see that we have two version of our app one of them is for the google play and the other one is for the ios now the uh, code for integrating either for ios and google play both are same so now you can all after creating the app you will have to uh, set up the campaign and also you can write here you can see that we have two buttons uh, you can create as many apps as you want and different campaigns for interstitial ads and video ads for different apps okay so first uh, let's see the screen here so here is i am in the analytics tab and i am i have selected this uh, mediation test app for the android and i just uh, sim simply tested it on my android with the test ads you can uh, you know show the test ad but for that you have to uh, fill a small form for your payment method uh, payout method you can do that and after that you will be able to test the ads so here you can see that here i have two impression this is the boot ups uh, this is i think how many times your app is opened or something like that but i tested it two times two times we get the impressions no click and uh, let's see the campaign here so let's so uh, if we go to this campaign section and in the publishing you can see that these are our two campaigns one of them is the unified rewarded so this one is for the rewarded video ads and this one is for the interstitial ads so add type here you can see this one is the rewarded and this one is interstitial now let's uh, click on the uh, rewarded ad here you can give it a meaningful name for uh, your campaign and the platform is uh, google play and the app so, so you have to if you have many apps you can select which app you want to add this campaign to now uh, let's come to the uh, advanced setting so here are uh, some options which we don't care and here is the campaign targeting so make sure to uh, enable it here you can you know uh, uh, set the uh, maximum ads shown per user so uh, you can set the limit how many ads per user can see so this is uh, same thing like if you have used the uh, google ad mob ads uh, we use the frequency capping option to avoid the invalid clicks so you can do that uh, right here here is the audience we are going to target all the countries all the us versions all device types and 
that's pretty much it after that you have to save it now the important step is in the app settings here so click on the app settings so you will uh, see this app setting after you have i think added the payout method so if if this option is not available you will see uh, here a message from the chart booth somewhere around the top or bottom maybe that you have to uh, set the or fill the certain form to uh, get these settings okay so uh, let's uh, see the basic settings so uh, you can also find other videos to do the basic setup and or you can use the chart boost uh, documentation so in the uh, uh, basic settings here the platform is android and uh, the name is mediation test we don't have the app bundle id right now orientation is selected to both and the test mode here so if you click on the uh, learn more so you have to you know test mode should be enabled okay to uh, view the ads you have to enable it uh, right here now let's come to the advanced settings so i did not changed anything so after that you have to click on the save button and your campaign will be saved so uh, you have to uh, you know uh, put some time here so minutes until the time is so default value is 120 so put that right here so the test mode will be available for 120 minutes okay now we have uh, enabled the test mode for our app so let's go back so here you can see basic in basic mode the test mode is enabled if you click on the basic setting so just enable it right here now let's come to the uh, rewarded video here you can uh, set the reward per view or things like that but we are not going to uh, do that right here i will simply show you how to integrate the rewarded video and interstitial and show it on our android so let's uh, go back to our uh, unity so uh, the first step to do here is to import the chart boost sdk now we already have our ad colony network and you, it, you can have uh, multiple uh, you know ad networks and a lot of them are using the same uh, plugins sometimes so this uh, play services resolver was already implemented so make sure when you import this chart boost so in the asset import window uh, just uh, unselect deselect this play services resolver because we already have it now after you you import after your import you will see the play uh, resolving window or dependency resolving window and uh, you have to wait for it for uh, almost uh, sometimes 10 to 15 minutes and after that your ad colony network will be imported and so we have to uh, configure something so in the chart boost in the resources here is our chart boost settings now in here you can see for the ios we have to add the app id and app signature for the google play app id and app signature okay so currently android platform is google play so if you go back to the <coughs> here and if you go to the basic setting you will see the app id and app signature right here so just copy it for um, both the android and ios so uh, put 
all of these and click on the setup android sdk okay so chart boost configured successfully you will also find this chart boost option right here now the next step is in the chart boost folder you will have this prefab with the name chart boost so simply drag it and drop it in your hierarchy and then we have an empty game object chart boost manager which you can create like that and on that we have our custom script chart boost manager and uh, let's see this script so here is our chart boost manager script so a uh, couple of uh, namespaces you have to import so actually you just need to import this uh, chart boost sdk and we need unity engine dot ui so first of all we have the reference for our text message to uh, show the logs so this message right here and in the start what we need to do is we have to you know set the cache so by using the chart boost object dot cache interstitial we can uh, cache the interstitial add so we have to first load it one time and then the chart boost will cache it to speed up the process the second for the cache rewarded video we are going to do the same and this is the uh, location so default location will be good so now we have two functions for showing the interstitial and showing the rewarded video so this is the line of code which is used to show the interstitial add so you just have to call the chart boost dot show interstitial and cb location dot default same for the uh, rewarded video we can do the do it like that so chart boost dot cache rewarded video add or we can you know say so we have to call this show rewarded video like that okay and this is going to take the argument which is let's see so location so just put the default right here now these two functions uh, show rewarded video and show interstitial are going to be called on these two buttons so you can see that i have two buttons chart boost interstitial and chart chart boost video so in the canvas container we have this chart boost interstitial and on the on click just simply drag this chart boost manager right here and call the show interstitial function for the rewarded video call the show rewarded video okay so now it's time to test it So our app has built successfully. So let's uh, install it in our Android and test it. So here is my uh, mirror, my Android device. So let's launch the app here. So as you can see, our app is open. So we are going to wait for a while. So to let it connect so here the message is from our ad colony so which we implemented in the previous video so now if I click on the chat boost interstitial you can see we are getting the interstitial ad so let's test the video here so click on it So as you can see video is also 
playing so if you can see if you see the test ads are playing what this will tell you that that your plugin is integrated successfully so it is also mentioned on their website that if the test ads are showing it means that each and everything with your plugin is okay now uh, there are uh, further things that needed to be done so here is a great article on the jazz boot so uh, the next thing we have to do is we have to listen for the listeners so as you can see in our code so when we are showing the rewarded video ad but we want to do something when the rewarded video starts playing or when the rewarded video has ended so we need certain callbacks so we can register the callbacks in the on enable and on disable we can have the void on enable and on disable functions right here and you can implement the uh, desired callbacks like that so as you can see that we are here is one of the example did fail to load interstitial so what happened if the interstitial ad failed so we can call this function and we can you know uh, after the on enable we can define this function did fail to load interstitial now same for the rewarded video ads we will have some callbacks for that so if user clicked the rewarded video or if the, it is cached and you can read more about them and uh, so this tutorial in this tutorial I have covered the basics so hopefully uh, this will be a good great benefit for you so uh, that's it for this video guys and uh, I will see you in the next video